Hi guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. For some time I've been struggling with the tripod in my workshop but because my workshop's so small it's really difficult to manoeuvre around it all the time. I'm having to pick it up, move it about, trip over it and so on and so forth. So I've actually designed something in SketchUp whereas it'll clamp on the beams on my roof so this will make it really really easy to manoeuvre, line up and I won't be tripping over it no more. So let's take a look at the SketchUp model. I'm just going to use some three quarter ply uh, for the majority of the articulated arm. Right guys, I've got all the parts printed out. I've uh, used some print stick and I've just mounted them all onto the three quarter ply and I'm now going to get these cut out over at the bandsaw. I've marked all the hole centres of which I'm going to drill out at size M8 over at the drill press. Now I've drilled the first hole but to make sure all the holes line up so the parallelogram works correctly I'm going to stick a bolt in so I can line it up perfectly. which is four millimeters deep, which will hold the bolt. I'm now just gonna cut all of the arms, which are two inches or 50 millimeters wide. Right, I've made all the arms, I've cut them all to the required width which is 50 millimeters, and the bolt actually sits in this channel but I need some kind of retaining cap on here so I'm just going to machine some up now and get these glued on. Now I'm just going to glue together the camera support.
while I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the other parts I'm now going to glue together the beam clamp assembly Now I'm just going to glue in the two top and bottom pivot points. For the opposite side of the beam clamp I need to put some more pivot points on so I'm going to get these glued on now. Right guys, while the glue's drying I'm going to take the opportunity to glue together the camera mount. Now I'm just going to Bud joint these and I'm going to secure them with a couple of screws just to give it a bit more rigidity. After I'm getting the camera mount glued onto here I'm going to attach these small brackets which I've made up. I'm going to get these glued on now, I'm going to do it off camera so it just saves a little bit of camera time and then as soon as they dry I'll come back and show you. I've got the, the camera bracket now made, as you can see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another knuckle joint and I'm going to attach another piece of ply on this side as a mounting plate. And from there I'm going to attach another two knuckle joints like that. So then I get a, a range of movement and left to right. Right guys, I've got the other knuckle joint now made, I've inserted a 10mm tube. Now this will act as like a bearing surface, so it will freely move left to right. It will attach with the 8mm coach bolt. And a wing nut, so it's easily adjusted. I'm now going to attach two more knuckle joints to the camera mount. So I'll get this done now and then we'll get it assembled. 
Well I've got the camera knuckle joints all assembled now. It freely moves left and right and up and down. All I did was I drilled an 8mm hole through the centre of the, the mount and I put a T-nut on the opposite side. And I'm just going to wind a bolt straight in. Yes, that's more secure. Right, so I've just got a bunch of scattered parts at the moment, so I'm just going to now start and assemble this. Right, I made this mountain bracket uh, some time ago, it's just a quick release for the bottom of the DSLR, so that's the quick release that actually sits on the bottom of the DSLR, it drops in and it clamps in place. Now I will be doing a video on this uh, over the next couple of weeks or so, but for this video I'm just going to put this one on for now, but like I say I will be making another video just to show how this is made. I'm now just going to get the arm installed. I've now got full range of movement, left and right. I can tilt the camera down, move it left and right. I can also alter the tilt. So I think I can call this a success. Right guys, thanks for watching. Um, I really enjoyed this build, even though I'm still struggling with the videography, but it's done and I'm pleased to say it was an absolute success. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.